Hey, GRD is the religion teacher.com, and I wanted to look at the origin of the word rosary. Um, you've probably prayed the rosary before, and if so, have you ever wondered why do we call it a rosary in the first place? It doesn't look like a rose or flowers at all, right? Um, here's my rosary. This is the one I carry around in my pocket. It's the one I use to pray every day, and it's a collection of rosary beads. And the bead has an interesting origin in history as well as a word from the Old English that means prayers. So literally, these are a collection of prayers, a collection of beads. And where does the word rosary come from? It comes from the Latin word rosarium, which means rose garden. Sometimes it could even be translated as a bouquet of flowers, a garland or a rose crown. And the idea here is that it's a collection of things. The word rosarium, rose garden, was used to refer to lots of anthologies, of stories, of other collections of, of things. So basically, the word rosary has a practical purpose. This is a just it's a collection of prayers, a collection of beads, prayers, that we offer up to the Lord, in particular, particularly in meditation on the life of Christ and the life of the Virgin Mary. Now, rosary beads have a long history, right, of counting the prayers of whether it's the Our Fathers every day, whether it's praying the Psalms that monks used to do, they had counted with little knots on ropes or maybe petals. Um, today we pray the rosary as a, for a practical purpose to keep track of those Hail Marys, those prayers as a collection or a rose garden of prayers offered up to the Lord. So a little interesting history about the word rosary and also the origin of the word bead. So go make disciples, go pray the rosary. God bless.